This is an exponentials and logarithms question. Give it a go first, see how far you get, and if you get stuck, then just skip forward to see my hints to each part. Part A. So we're told that a scientist is studying the number of bees and the number of wasps on an island. The number of bees measured in thousands is nb, and we're given the equation. So nb is equal to 45 plus 220 e to the power of 0 0.05 t. T is the number of years from the start of the study. According to the model, find the number of bees at the start. So at the start means that t is equal to 0, so we can just put that into our equation and then work out what nb is. So then nb is 45 plus 220 e to the power of 0. e to the power of 0 is just 1, so this becomes 265. So that's nb. The question wants the number of bees at the start of the study, but nb, remember, is measured in thousands. So then our answer would then be 265,000. Part B, show that exactly 10 years after the start of the study, okay, so T is 10, the number of bees was increasing at a rate, so rate means differentiate, of approximately 18,000 per year. Okay, so this is a show that question. We're trying to show that the rate is increasing at a rate of 18,000 per year when T is 10. So in other words, this needs to be approximately equal to 18. So then you want to differentiate this equation. So we know that nb is equal to 45 plus 220 e to the 0.05t. You want to differentiate that. You then want to put in 10, and then you should get uh, approximately 18. So give that a go. So then the differential. So 45 just differentiates to make 0. And if we remember our rules for differentiating, if we have y is equal to e to the power of kx, the differential of this would be ke to the power of kx. So then this equation becomes 0 0.05 times 220 e to the 0 0.05 t. And simplify, this is 11 e to the 0 0.05 t. And now we want to put in 10. So dn, b, dt, when t is 10, is, so 11 e to the 0 0.05 times 10, and that will end up being 18.14. Now, this is in thousands, remember, so that means that dn, dt is changing by approximately 18,000 per year, and we know it's increasing because this number is positive. If the number were negative, then that means that the number of bees is decreasing at a rate of 18,000 per year approximately. So a little conclusion, and then that will be it. So we could say something like, okay, part C. So, we're told the number of wasps measured in thousands, again, measured in thousands, is modeled by this equation. And t, again, is the number of years from the start of the study. Okay, so then we're told that when time is equal to capital T, there's an equal number of bees and wasps. So then, if you want to work out what t is, your first hint is to use this information here, use the previous equation that we have for nb as well, put them all together, and try and solve the subsequent equ equation. So nb is 45 plus 220 e to the 0 0.05. Now time is capital T. And then nw, 10 plus 800 e to the minus 0 0.05, again, capital T. And I'll bring everything to the left-hand side. So 220 e to the 0 0.05 T, bring the 10 over, so that becomes plus 35, and then we have minus 800 e to the minus 0 0.05 T.
is equal to zero. So if you had got to this stage, but then you weren't sure where to proceed from there, the idea is you want to make a substitution so we can say like let x equal to something. Make a substitution, so think about what should we let x to be in this equation. And you want to do it in such a way that eventually you will end up with a quadratic. So play around with that. Think about what you can let x to be in this equation and you should get a quadratic in the end. So if you weren't sure, you would be setting x to be e to the power of 0.05t, and you'll see why. So it becomes 220x plus 35 minus 800 x to the minus 1. And the reason that's x to the minus 1 is because, well, if we do both sides of this equation to the power of minus 1, we would times this power by minus 1, and it then becomes minus 0 0.05, capital T. So if you didn't get to this stage, try solving this equation now. So then you'd have to times both sides of that equation by x, so it becomes 220x squared plus 35x minus 800 is equal to 0. And here's our quadratic. If we were to solve that quadratic, we end up with... Uh, x is equal to 1.8290 and also minus 1.9881. So remember that x is equal to e to the power of 0.05t. And if we think about a graph of this equation, x is equal to e to the power of 0.05t, where this is x and this is t, that would look like this. So the x value never becomes negative. So then for that reason, we can't have this as a solution. So our solution will then just be e to the power of 0.05t is equal to 1.829. We can do, now it's straightforward, ln of both sides, and then solve from them. So divide... And what does it want it in? It wants it to two decimal places. So then put this in our calculator and we end up with 12.08. And that is our final answer.